My name is Ben Bailey. I'm a chef. Um, I write the menus in a few restaurants, including Ahi, where we are right now. Food tourism is interesting. Just about every country in the world's nailed it except for us. I already see New Zealand as a mini New York. We have a similar amount of cultures living here, similar amount of languages spoken. We just don't have the population, but we are a mounting pot similar to New York and we're on the cusp of greatness, I think, when it comes to food tourism. We've never sort of had a clear message, say, from the government that, or from anyone really, that people should come here and eat. What is the spend of an average tourist from overseas in New Zealand on hospitality? Would it be one quarter of their spend? Would it be one third of their spend if you consider their accommodation? It's a huge proportion. And I think Kiwis haven't taken it seriously. We've relied on our great scenery, um, but there's a lot of great restaurants around too, and people are looking and you just look at our bookings and we have a lot of international numbers when, when the borders were open. So it's interesting to see how things will play out. We've got to do it as a, as a whole, as a cold country. Auckland and Queenstown are the two funnels that most people come through now when they visit. But outside of that, I think we're getting to the point now where our small towns in New Zealand have great cafes, have great, you know, they take it seriously. It's not just a packet of frozen squid caught off a trawler off the coast of Southeast Asia that's been frozen and brought here and then uh, deep fried straight from frozen. People want to know where their squid came from, how it was caught, what's so good about it. Why are you in the middle of, say, use my hometown, Tiamuru? Why have you got squid on there? Like, what, what, what's the beef growing around? What's the pork? What's on your menu? Why have you chosen it? You know, I think New Zealanders are becoming more aware of what they're eating. They want to support local, eat local. They want to know what's in their food. And as us as New Zealanders become more foodie and want to eat better, live longer, be healthier, our tourists will benefit from that too. I think our selling point in New Zealand when it comes to food tourism is that we're super different. Um, we're multicultural and we have amazing Māori roots. The old people of New Zealand who have been here for, you know, 2,000 years. We have an amazing climate define four seasons you know and with very fertile land produces amazing ingredients and we have uh, beautiful oceans that are at the moment largely in good shape. I, I think the proposition is for, for me to come to a country that's got similarities to theirs but is completely different. I mean our food story is young, very young and so now we look at the unique ingredients of New Zealand when I'm thinking about New Zealand food story, how they're harvested, packaged, prepared, sent to me that protects the quality of that ingredient and then I want to know about the people the people who harvested that ingredient I want to know what they had for breakfast I want to know what their life philosophy is I, I want to know everything about them because that determines their philosophy around harvesting that ingredient how sustainable that ingredient is will that ingredient be around for my grandkids to harvest too so in the next 20 years I see um, a lot of young chefs coming through a lot of young chefs coming home from overseas and sharing their experiences wondering what New Zealand food is really putting our food on the map when it comes to creating dishes that represent New Zealand on the world stage.